Yo, what is up, my dudes? Welcome to the video. Today we are talking about joystick length. Now, specifically, we're talking about is a longer joystick actually better for aiming? And more specifically, I'm going to get into how you can pick the right joystick length for you and how you have multiple different options towards how you can actually do that. Believe it or not, a longer stick is not actually always better. It's kind of a bit of a myth. We're going to talk about it in today's video. If you guys enjoy it and it helps you out, drop that like, hit that sub, and don't forget to use code UPSHAL in the Fortnite item shop. So basically, when you're looking at buying any kind of pro controller, or if you want to get attachments for your basic dual shock controller, there's usually two options when you go to buy a joystick. You can either get like a long stick like this, or short stick. This is kind of your standard length. Now, I personally use like the short length, but here's the thing. With most pro controllers, the first thing you need to know, especially with scuffs, if you order a like short joystick, if you compare that to the regular DualShock 4, you can see right here, this is a regular DualShock, the blue controller. Look at the difference in the joystick height in comparison to the, to the scuff. These are the short sticks for the scuff. They're much, much higher. If you compare them to a regular DualShock as well, if you look at the actual pads on the controller, uh, these like top ones, they're super short. They're actually pretty narrow as well. And the actual concave like grip to the joystick is actually really shallow as well. Overall, really, really weak grips. If you compare that to a scuff, um, the actual pad is wider, it's a little bit ru more rubbery for better grip, and the actual concave, like, top of it, I'm sorry my camera's not really focusing, but the actual concave top is a lot more, uh, indented and it gives you a lot better spot to actually put your thumb in to get purchase on the joystick. It's for that reason that whether or not you want to go the full route and go and get a scuff or a, a another pro controller, I would definitely recommend, if you don't do so, buying control freaks of some sort for a regular DualShock 4 just because the base joysticks are not really the best at all. And I really feel like just like getting a small upgrade with just even control freaks would go a long way. But here's the thing. A lot of people I see just going all out and buying the longest stick possible for their right stick because they think it increases control. It's not really how it works. A lot of a lot of marketing companies for like longer joysticks, I see them always refer to like if you get a longer stick, you get more control because you have more range of movement. I personally don't really think that's true because if you pop off any joystick, no matter the length, this little interior component right here does not change. It's always the same amount of movement. And if you have a longer stick, all that you're really increasing is the amount of leverage. So the, the amount of power you can potentially apply to your joystick. And more power is not more better, baby, unless you're talking about a Mustang. In, with regards to a controller, you don't necessarily want more power. You want little, fine, precise, precise little bits of movement. And you don't necessarily get more more defined, more precise movement by bet it, by buying a longer stick. You get it by getting a stick that fits your thumb properly. And I'll give you guys a quick tip on how you can figure that out. So this is the controller I use, and I hold it like this. Now you'll see one thing, you'll kind of see the way my thumb sits on here. When I'm claw gripping, it's a little bit hard to see, but my hand is almost pulled up and down onto the controller a little bit more. So my thumb kind of sits the base of my thumb kind of sits out and deeper a little bit. So it's for that reason I like a shorter stick, but it's only because I play claw. I do not use the paddles. If I were a paddled player, and I was using my paddles like this, because I was, wouldn't be playing claw and almost pulling my thumb, the base of my thumb down doing so, if I was playing paddles, and I had the paddles, my fingers resting on the back to use them, my hand would actually be kind of up on the controller a little bit more. And therefore, if I use paddles, I would want a longer stick. And it's all got to do with how my thumb actually fits on the controller. So right here, if I'm using paddles, my thumb is up and I'm able to get basically a full flex, almost like a full flex of my thumb. If your thumb at any point in the controller or any point of the movement can have a little tiny bit of bend. If your thumb is pointed all the way out away from like the base of your thumb and you still have a little bit of bend and then when you kind of curl in your thumb kind of flexes up like that, that means it fits really well. Like you never want, if I was playing claw grip and then my thumb has to reach up onto the joystick, you can see that like my thumb is basically straight halfway through 
the rotation of the joystick. If I push out here, I'm having to move my whole hand while I'm claw gripping. So in this case, I would be losing control over my thumb and therefore losing control over my joystick and having this length of joystick would be way too long. I hope that makes sense. But basically, if you're using claw, it actually kind of puts your thumb in a different position to hold the controller. And in that sense, it makes it so that your thumb kind of fits better with a shorter stick. At least me personally. Again, this all depends on you. This depends on the, the size of your hands. Do you have big meaty mitts or do you have little dainty, dainty fingers? Either way, that's something to consider when you're picking out a controller to use or more specifically picking out a joystick to use. I think for anybody, First starting out with a pro controller or using a base DualShock 4 and putting something like Control Freaks on it to extend the sticks. Start with the lowest, the lowest or the shortest length joystick first. And then if you find that your thumb is still really bent up and you're like almost like over flicking, then maybe move to a longer stick. Because here's the thing, having a longer stick doesn't actually give you more control, but it does make the controller more comfortable to use. If your thumb is not tiring out, from using a like a stick that doesn't really fit your thumb, you're gonna be able to play better because you're gonna have less fatigue. Your hand is not gonna hurt and you're overall likely gonna have better performance, better aim, better building. It's for that reason, I hear a lot of people when they're talking about claw grip, they're playing claw with control freaks on and they're always complaining about how their thumb or their wrist is hurting. They're complaining about like carpal tunnel or something. I think a lot of that has to do with improperly fitting sticks. And it's got to do with how much you had to actually move your hand. If I have a big stick, like one that doesn't fit my hand, and I had to like constantly move my hand around to get a good purchase on it, that's going to cause me wrist pain. So that's the number one way to avoid wrist pain. Getting joystick extensions is a great way to improve how your controller feels, how how comfortable it is, and also indirectly can then improve your aim and improve your performance as a result. Hope this helps you out, guys. This is a really frequently asked question. I want to give you guys a quick little piece of advice. So again, if you want to buy a control freak or a pro controller, start with the shortest option. And then if you feel like that's still not long enough, keep in mind, if you buy something like a scuff, you can order replacement sticks or, or longer sticks for like 10 bucks. So if you're making a big purchase on a pro controller, you can start off small and then, okay, I'm going to drop a little bit. It's like 5% of the total product to try it a longer stake. I would definitely recommend doing so. And chances are, if you play claw grip, you're likely going to want to go with a shorter stick anyways. Hope this helps you out, guys. We got some incredible arena gameplay coming for you guys. Just absolutely popping off. I'm loving arena this season. We're absolutely going in with attack. So if you guys enjoy that, drop a like, hit that sub down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go, baby! My boat. So much better than your boat. My boat.
fires are lit this morning, man. What? Let's go! Rick off me, dude! What? What angle is that, man? Let's go, baby! Let's go, man! Woo -hoo -hoo. That was so sketch, bro. That was so sketch. Oh.